My name is Peter Brüninger, and I've just come into the Von Schweiker vac room here at Expona. And I heard a track a little moment ago that just blew my doors off. I mean, it just blew my mind. And you're going to hear Nublado next after we go through the equipment rundown. But I wanted again to introduce everybody to Kevin Hayes from VAC, Life Swanson from Endeavor, Von Schweiker, which I should say Von Schweiker, <laughs> and Damon Von Schweiker. You guys have put together an immaculate system, one of the best I've ever heard. The equipment rundown, please, if we could start over, Life, if you could go and start over from your side. Okay, um, so uh, the reel-to-reel -reel machine is a custom machine, it's the Techniques 1520. Mm -hmm. um, this was done uh, uh, by Jeff at J-Quarter. Okay. Um, we just absolutely love this machine, it just brings so much, uh, so much to the shows with us. Yeah. Um, underneath the J quarter is your final systems ref 3 music server this is actually one of the first uh, prototypes. prototypes so the new ones actually they look more like a normal component but ours looks like a computer but <laughs> uh, it's a phenomenal machine yes. on the very bottom shelf is actually is an outboard power supply um, which just is really um, remove so much noise from your typical music server mm -hmm. um, and then applications and then this is new to us um, we love it this is our Lampazator uh, Golden Gate this this is the balanced version um, with KR tubes yeah with all the KR tubes oh that's great mm -hmm. um, underneath that <laughs> this is our man this is uh, Louis right from, um, Kronos. from Kronos. Yep. That's the uh, power supply, outboard, outboard. outboard power supply. For, yep. For this, the yeah. SPCS for our Kronos one. Pro turntable with it, the uh, SPS one. Yeah, that's yeah. the SCPS, which SPS. stands yeah. for Super Capacitor Power Supply. It's amazing. Yeah, it is an amazing, amazing piece of equipment. That's the Black Beauty arm, and yep. if I'm not mistaken, it's a Zeiss uh, Zix Universe cartridge. Ultimate 4D. Ultimate, Ultimate 4D. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Kevin, give us the honors. <laughs> well, on top we have the statement line stage. And you can uh, take a look in the top. You can see all of the inner workings. The hand-wired circuit bonded to a, uh, a massive brass isolation plate, which is then decoupled from the remainder of the, the unit look for at that. a complete lack of microphony. Uh, you know, I've never done a knock noise. test on an amplifier before. <laughs> <laughs> on a preamp, yes. 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 No, Ouch. I think I hurt myself. You got some skin anyway, uh, <laughs> this this actually weighs in by the time it's done at uh, around 70 pounds for the audio chassis and about 70 pounds for the power supply chassis. My goodness. The chassis itself is actually machined up from quarter inch, as people like to say now, aircraft aluminum. It's made from aluminum. Yeah. Um, and then we plate it up through a series of steps of uh, copper, nickel, and chrome, so you might call it an Alcuniker chassis. <laughs> um, actually, each of the layers confers different properties for immunity from radio frequency interference and electromagnetic interference. Um, the uh, nickel, for example, very good at the low frequency EM fields. The copper, very good at high frequency radio field rejection. So there's a reason for the beauty, actually, in the chrome. Um, below that is the statement phono stage, which is similarly exposed, if you could see the top wheel. And then below that are the two power supplies for them. Mm -hmm. Power supplies completely dual mono, and they are um, high L choke filter systems. They're actually two separate DC cords that come up to the audio chassis left and right. So How about that? They really are mono systems just mono sharing the chassis boy. and controls. Then we, I think we pass it over to the uh, master built cable. I, actually, I, I would, Peter, I'm sorry, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the, the racks um, oh. provided to us by Artisiana Audio. Um, they, as you can see, are <laughs> beautiful and, uh, and they, they, they provide that um, isolation that we need for this type of sensitive system. I encourage everyone to explore uh, specialty racks for their high performance audio systems. They do make a huge difference. Yes, it's a component. It Absolutely. is a component actually, yep. Well, let's move, <coughs> let's move over to the uh, cables back here. So uh, we are running a complete full loom of master built audio cables. This is their top of the line series. Uh, we're running all balanced cables. Uh, these are the Master Built Ultras. Um, we have full loom. 
full loom top yeah, to bottom. This is, this is actually the longest. This is the longest uh, balanced run, of that. Yeah. run uh, in existence of Ultra that they've made. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And viewers, you can see the cables running back here to the back of the. Here we are back to back with the Look statement these. 450 IQ monoblocks. Everything's running in the balance mode in the system at this time, and all of the VAC products can be switched from dedicated balance to single-ended mode, so um, any possible configuration can be covered. And they do so in ways which are sonically transparent. They actually sound the same in both modes. Any differences you hear are caused by um, other components or cabling in the system. Mm -hmm. This is 450 watts. It features our patented IQ continuous stable biasing system, mm -hmm. which actually is able to hold the underlying idle point of the tube completely steady mm -hmm. at all times, no matter how loudly or softly you're playing. Mm -hmm. Less noise, less distortion, more detail, mm -hmm. longer tube life, no tube drama, no fuss of any kind. Um, the tubes themselves are accessed through these rods, well, like which that. use a that. little yeah. spring-loaded pin, kind of like a, uh, a wristwatch. Yeah. Uh, a band would have, yeah. so it's very quick to get to them, but still protected them when they're when they're in place. Mm -hmm. And um, this also has the Alcunicker chassis to coin that term. And um, what can I say? This is really a combination between von Schweikert and Masterbuilt and Vac of the really the best stuff on earth. I think. I think you this might also be right. has the. Uh, oh, I love that. Yeah. A That's decoupling cool. system Isn't from that the power cool? supply yeah. chassis as well. Yeah, I have to do that again for the camera. I'm ha I have to be him hamming it up here. Oh my God. 75 pounds of transformers between those two chances. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for that. And I also want to introduce the viewers to Art Knoxon from ASC. Art, you've treated the room. Yes. I've heard a number of your rooms. Our lead, one of our lead reviewers, Mike Malinowski's room, yeah, right. is one of your rooms. And yes. you are featured in a number of our videos through Mike's outstanding listening room. Yeah. And this is the man behind the ASC. And right. this is another reason this room sounds so darn good. Well, thank you. Um, we're introducing the new generation of tube traps. The, uh, the entire interior is a heat sink model, mm -hmm. and uh, so the temperature inside the tube trap under pressure fluctuations stays the same, mm -hmm. which eliminates the pressure, the thermal back pressure, allows more air to flow in and out of the friction walls of the tube trap, doubles the a low frequency absorption below 60 hertz so it's a major improvement after many years of pretty much the same model wow well it's a pleasure pleasure to uh, to finally meet you face to face thank you thank you so um peter it was it was almost a year ago when we first mentioned this in our uh, interview in in newport and uh this is the product of um if you think about it it's a product of a four and a half year process. Uh, four and a half years ago we were commissioned to do a one-off speaker for um, a gentleman who um, was very gracious to give us the latitude to really develop our product, the time and the resources to work on our craft. It was kind of a, well this is great but what could you do if moment. And um, we developed the VR111s for, for that gentleman. Uh, they are a one-off break the mold product but at the end of that um, process, Leif and I had to pull it up <laughs> next to our current flagship and while we're like, huh, what's missing? Yeah, it was it was one of the moments we just looked at each other and we're like, okay, it's time to redo the flagships. Yeah. And so this is the um, culmination of that, uh, another year in development and um, we're pleased to present for the first time to North America the Ultra 11s. Uh, they represent the pinnacle of our current uh, technology. Um, there's a lot of proprietary elements to it. Um, it it's it, in some ways it's very similar to the Ultra Le or the VR11 in kind of concept, but um, there are some significant differences. Um, the technology in the VR11 involved the stacking module with isolation modules between them. This incorporates a, a far more high-tech, um, well, constrained layer dampening, right. and uh, a, a very unique uh, process to to make these cabinets rigid. And um, and you know, as you can see on the front side, Leif, why don't you yeah, why don't you walk through our driver assortment? So, what we have here is we have um, the eight-inch uh, mid-base drivers. These are allowed to run. Um, all the way down to their lowest frequency. Um, the beauty of these drivers is they're actually flat down to 21 hertz. Um, but we're not, even though we're allowing them to run their full frequency, we're actually mechanically 
choking them off before that. Mm -hmm. So they have they have a much sharper roll off. So um, so these are obvious Acutons. Yeah, um, I can tell. My favorite driver. Right yeah, now. my too. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we have the six and a half inch Acuton mid. Um, We've done a lot of uh, communicating back and forth with Accuton on how we really wanted these drivers, and um, and uh, so that's why we're using these combinations continuously. We use these in the 55 as yep. well, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I'm in love with the uh, <laughs> beryllium tweeters. Um, very complicated at first, but over um, many many. What months? Yeah. Months of uh, designing and experimenting with them. I think we found the perfect formula for the crossover right. in order to really allow them yeah. not to sound like metal and uh, yeah, but I, still I, give you that speed. And yeah, I just yeah. love them. Yeah. Um, then of course we have the uh, ribbon tweeter. Um, that's a uh, well, that's kind of a hybrid ribbon tweeter. So I'm actually going to let Damon talk about this a little bit. When this whole concept originally first came out, when Damon and I were discussing coming out with a new flagship model, I was kind of at the mindset that what we were going to do is we are going to utilize the VR11 cabinets and, you know, use new drivers, new crossovers, and just redesign it and just take that speaker to another level. Damon said, no, I want to come up with a different cabinet design. So Damon went to work on the cabinet design. Um, and once he had that down, then I was able to go to work on, on what sort of airspace I needed inside. The VR11 actually had two separate plate amplifiers. So they required two power cords and actually two, uh, two speaker cables. One had to go up high, one had to go low. So what we did is we worked, uh, well, actually, I'll let you go. I mean, we worked with Dusty yep. at Channel Island Audio, right. but I'll let Damon take it from here. Well, I mean, uh, Dusty at Channel Island has been developing the power supplies for our, uh, well, the, the, the power for our integrated um, powered elements of our speakers for a while now, mm -hmm. and the VR9, the VR11, the VR55, the VR44, and, um, oh, and our subwoofers as well. So, I mean, quite a lot of product. Uh, you know, it's not often that you get to work on a flagship product, and that's why I was with Leif. I didn't just want to improve the, the, the aesthetics. I wanted to go all in. I mean, this is what we get up in the morning for. This is what makes us excited. And to, to be able to develop something, it, it, it had to be special in every way. And so it had to have its own look. It had to have its own elements. And um, I was pretty passionate, and I know you were too, to, um, to do something unique. Uh, with the amplification. The single cabinet allowed us the ability to do this plate and um, and what that does is, is we have actually two independent power supplies a thousand watts each driving the two 15 inch woofers. They're two amplifiers. Uh, two mm -hmm. amplifiers, sorry. Single power supply. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Single, uh, that's right. Single power supply, dual amplifiers uh, running the two 15 inch woofers and um, and this allows us to, to put this control suite back here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know I, I've seen some comments already about how many controls there are, but the truth is is that these are the same controls we've always had in our flagships, the VR9 and the VR11. Mm -hmm. We have a, a tweeter array, which is the two tweeters in the front, the super tweeter, which is the main tweeter, super tweeter in the front, and the ambient array, which is one unit, which is composed of these two uh, horn tweeters and, and the ribbon. And, um, and this allows adjustability. We mm -hmm. send it out as flat. Mm -hmm. But this um, is so much better than like just using resistors to change it. I mean, right. auto formers this, give yes. the smallest footprint on the signal path. Right. These and are handcrafted by uh, Fostex, and we're very pleased to have them in our product. And then mm -hmm. we can select if we want to go half inch, half, or I'm sorry, half inch, half, half EV, EV increments, or, or full or, EV, or, so or it's full fully EV. adjustable. It. And then in addition to that, we, we, we both were adamant that we wanted the ability to have separate controls for the, for the two woofers. That allows you to shape the wave. I and really yeah. adjust this to the room. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, as you know, you'll take a flat speaker, passive speaker, you put it in a room, and all of a sudden the room tells you it's not flat anymore. Mm -hmm. At least not in that room, right? And so, you know, you start building contraptions to to accommodate it, and um, and it while that absolutely will get you wonderful performance, it um, it's at this price point, at this we're able to put adaptability into the actual speaker that allows small tweaking. With that said, I will say, we, we, we needed the room treatment as well, even with our adaptability. Um, it just makes it easier, especially with, with uh, this type of environment. 
the other thing we incorporated was the uh, the VR11 only had a single ribbon tweeter in the back for yeah. the rear ambience, where mm -hmm. in this case we're using two horn-loaded magnesium tweeters and a ribbon. And an MGM. Yes. Yep. 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 Yes. Got it. And then... Uh, you know, and then last but not least, there's the the von Schweikert badge. It's uh, it's <laughs> unique to it's unique. It's our family crest, and it's unique to the Ultra line. And I think it also sim symbolizes uh, uh, how we feel about this this new flagship product. Well, congratulations on uh, the launch of uh, what might be perhaps the best speaker ever made by any human being in the world today. Thank thanks, you. Peter. Thank you very much. Let's do some listening next, okay? okay cool. Thanks. Okay, great. Thanks. thanks. All right. Bye. Thank you. We've just heard what I think might be the best listening session I've ever heard at an audio show my entire career. Yeah. And we played a Roger Waters track uh, from Amused to Death just before this. And I tell you, uh, the, the goose flesh was all over my body. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the sounds coming from around my head. The, uh, the matchup and the handshake of the VAC, uh, they're their signatures, correct? Statements. Statement amplifiers with the Ultra 11 Von Schweikers are is just impeccable. Uh, you guys have outdone yourselves. Now, over in our left, we have Life from Von Schweiker Endeavor. We have it's in our center here, we have Kevin Hayes, uh, the chief engineer, president of Valve Ampl Amplification Company. And to our right, we have Damon Von Schweiker, uh, the president of Von Schweiker Audio, and you guys, I want you to take a bow, and I'd like the room to give them an applause, please. Thank you. That was a superb demonstration. Thank you. It was just, I, I, I still have the goose flesh. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.